So, fuck, impromptu joystick and button review, right? These are not your standard OBSF 30 millimeter Sanwa buttons. These, if I can open this, this joint. These, I wish I could get closer with my camera, say Conva Gravity. I've had these about a week now, right? Maybe a little under a week, like a day under a week. I think I got them last Thursday. I've been fucking with them a lot. Conva Gravity buttons, uh, they are an Atimu, they're either Atimu or Amaran. I believe they're silent Atimu switches. So they're a lot more quiet than a standard Sanwa. I don't have any standard Sanwas on hand because all my buttons are silent. How much does a stick look like that? This is a like a this is like a two hundred dollar stick. Uh, a Razer Pantera. You're look go look for the Razer Pantera. That's like the new age version of the TE. This is the Mad Cats TE two. They don't make these anymore. You have to buy one used. Maybe really old. What you're gonna wanna look for is the Razer Pantera, not the Pantera Evo. I have some really negative shit to say about that motherfucking stick on Friday. But until then, we're gonna talk about how much we like these joystick buttons. Now, I haven't really seen too many people really thoroughly review this these buttons or this joystick. This joystick, I couldn't find a single thing on YouTube. My video that I like talked about getting them is the only video I found on YouTube of, of the joystick, right? It's weird. So these are silent. These are, they, they don't have the silencing pads in them, but these are silent operation, right? Along the lines of uh, something like a gamer finger or a um, silent sonwa button, right? Without the mushiness, and they are a mechanical switch, like a like a keyboard, you know. And they're they're like more a little more flat, and they have a lot more they have a lot more surface area for your finger than a standard sonwa button and they actuate faster, right? So if you're a stick person, if you know anything about arcade stick buttons, you understand that faster actuation without being super fluffy means that your inputs will come out faster, right? And it'll return to neutral faster, allowing for easier um, keyboarding, easier pianoing, double flicking, whatever you want to call it, um, without the springiness, uh, I mean, without the fluffiness of something like a song. When people, people say, oh, I breathed on my button wrong and I got the wrong input with songs, which is, untrue you're fucking trash it's not your button it's you you're garbage but these are very these are very capable buttons uh especially for the price there are screwing buttons which means if you're using something like a bulex style layout and you're using a, a pre-made case you're not using your own case where you get to determine how everything works sometimes this um this mounting plate will be in the way of the first button right i believe this is x in the way of x or square i believe it's x uh, so it, it's really awkward, but the buttons themselves function properly, even when, once you get them all the way screwed in. Uh, they're very nice. They're very quiet. There is silencing pads as well. I haven't got around to buying them. It's a couple bucks. I'm kind of broke right now. Um, but this is the this is the sound of a Sanwa silent. Which are the quietest button on the market, right? But they have like a mushy feel to them because they have a pad inside of them to be that quiet. And this is the sound of the non-silenced Kanba gravity button. Not Kwanba, Kanba. I'm just reading it as I see it. I don't see a Q U in there. I see a Q in there. So that's Kanba, not Kwanba. All right, fuck all you reviewers. You're wrong until Kanba tells me that I'm wrong. See, it's it's relatively similar uh, without that mushy bottom out and the the early stop of the uh of the silencing pad i'm sure once i put silencing pads in them maybe it will feel mushy or stop early but it'll be even quieter than quieter than it already is these kind of rival like the louder gamer finger switches which are relatively quiet this isn't as stampy as something like a sonal button i think i might have something on hand that i can use to reference a sonal button i have a razor mechanical buttons from the razor pantera evo let's go slap one of those i'll be right back What do I think of all button sticks? You mean hitboxes? I don't hate hitboxes. They're pretty cool. I'd rather have like an all keyboard controller, right? Like Keycade makes one where it's uh, WASD and then it's all keyboard keys on the other side. There's eight of them. I think I think that those are more efficient than hitbox. Uh, this is the sound of a Razer mechanical button. Uh, something like the Snackbox Micro. That's another one. I kind of like that when I saw it. Looks interesting. Maybe when I get my end of the year bonus for my job or something, I'll try that. All right, let's go ahead and hit this button a few times. See how much more stampy that is? 
This is more in line with something like a Sano bud. That's what this is. It's very high pitch, kind of annoying, unless you like your shit to slap, like my buddy Cobra Tango does apparently. These are his, they're his buttons. <laughs> Once I pulled them out of the razor, I offered them to him. Them to him, I can't speak, oops.